Hey everyone, this is Zach Hampel, and this is the main event of the entire Major League Baseball season. Let's see today's winner. Let's Home run on the fly by John Carlos Stanton. Here, you want that? Baseball number eight on the day. There it is. My very first ball ever at SunTrust Park. My man. Thank you. All right, despite wearing this hat, Brewers pitcher Jimmy Nelson just tossed this to me. tosses me a ball every time I come here. I love it. It's my welcome to Cleveland ball. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
that first one. Did get a shot from across the stadium. You can see me from afar. That's for us. Well, I got that last ball flipped up at the dugout from Carlos Carrasco. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And there it is. Jason Grilly tossed that one up. Thank you very much. Thank you. Manny Machado. Ray's catcher Wilson Ramos took that ball back to the dugout. Awesome. My tenth ball of the day. Double digits have been achieved thanks to umpire Tony Randazzo. My last four games combined, I've gotten 51 balls. How you guys doing? So you guys are all subscribed, right? up on that party deck in right center. That would want this one? Oh, thanks, man. I love my chance of catching a home run here. There's all this space in the walkway. No, no, no! <laughs> Got it. Wow. Ryan McCann home run ball. <laughs> Bobbled by the fans in front, I tried to get around them, couldn't quite reach. It, it bounced back into the aisle, and I think my cameraman actually had a play on it, and I was like, no, no, no! no. It's like, if I'm paying him to be here, he's not going to snag the ball away from me. So. There it is. Two home run balls in two days. I don't even know who hit that. I was talking to people out here, but I saw the ball go up in the air, and it's like, all right, that's pretty easy. I'm all over it. I gotta say, this stadium is a lot of fun. Hanging out here in front of the judges' chambers, what an awesome spot. I think this is the most beautiful bullpen setup in the major leagues. This purple row of seats is exactly one mile above sea level, 5,280 feet. It kind of feels almost like spring training, getting in so early, the players are warming up. Check out this weird foul pole, or it's not even really a pole. It's like some sort of foul net that's dangling from a, a metal crane. Very Canadian. Look at this, there's a double USB port in front of every pair of seats so you can charge your phones or any other devices. Look at these counters and these stools. These were put in last year in 2016 they with those beams. You don't see too many stadiums that are designed like that. They kind of brought back Tiger Stadium with the design of this place. I forgot just how beautiful this place is. I think that if I were gonna rank all the concourses in Major League Baseball, the ones here at Petco would definitely be number one. This is one of the quietest stadiums I've ever been to. There's a guy there ringing a cowbell, but seriously, this place is like a ghost town. This is like just 
classic Fenway right here. You don't feel like you're in a modern stadium. This is what is considered like a closed concourse if you want to do a 360, because you cannot see the field when you're walking through here. It gets very cramped and congested sometimes, but it's just part of the charm. And if you're in a rush to get from like right field to left field, good luck to you, because it can take a while to weave through all the people here. Charlie Blackman. That is one spectacular view right there of downtown Minneapolis looming way off in the distance in right field. Number six, the second baseman, Jonathan Scott. 